August 2012 and Queensland Theatre Company's own gang of bearded bushrangers ride west from Brisbane on the trail of a legend. In 1948, James Ryan died in Ipswich, aged 90. For years before his death, he claimed his real identity was Dan Kelly, brother of the outlaw Ned. He didn't die at Glen Rowan in 1880, he said, but escaped and fled to start fresh in Queensland. You know, Matt's big on the idea of, of fact, theory and myth, the three different levels of the Kelly story and, and how they've all become this one beast. And You know, what makes up your reality? What make, you know, the rumours the room that you grow up with, the local legend and the folklore. But nobody would know the name of one single cop that they shot in that men rolling and shoot out. Yeah, or, you know, exactly. The good guys are forgotten, whereas these guys are... Yeah. held up as heroes. Early morning, and we're on our way to Ipswich General Cemetery to meet local identity Paul Tully, Ipswich's longest serving city councillor, historian, Kelly Buff, and a fervent believer that Dan did indeed make it this far north. Uh, who's playing who? You're playing Ned? Yeah, yeah. yeah. the one. I'm Dan. Dan? Yeah, I'll pick that. I can't direct you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw this probably 30 years ago. This is the original Sunday Truth article from Brisbane in 1948 when he died in Ipswich. Yep. He, he was, he'd been released from the Brisbane General Hospital on the uh, Thursday. Yep. And he made his way to Ipswich and he was decapitated by a coal train at yep. the end of Wolf Street in Ipswich that night. He walked into the offices of the Sunday Truth newspaper in 1933 mm. using the name James Ryan. That's where it all started. Mm -hmm. When the judge was speaking in 1880, Ned Kelly interrupted, I don't think there is much proof that they did die the death, like in the fire. The councillor walked us to James Ryan's grave in the pauper's ground. A Dan Kelly memorial now stands over Ryan's tiny grave marker, arranged by Councillor Tully himself. The faceplate was just made to be peered through, and our own Dan Kelly was only too happy to oblige. People often ask me, because they, any of my colleagues, of course, they, they say, oh, yeah, what is he buried next to you know, Elvis Presley and all this sort of stuff. <laughs> you know, like, it's one of those stories in politics that generates this. But no one can come and say to me, oh, that's not true, and I know it's not true. Yeah. I can't say it's true. And that Ian Jones, Did we really think we might have just trampled the soil above the head of an infamous bushranger? We weren't entirely convinced, so Councillor Tully took us to see perhaps the one man who believes more strongly than even he does. His boss, Ipswich Mayor Paul Pizzali. Hey, uh Absolutely, mate. If you're looking for some bush rangers, you come to the right spot. <laughs> Maybe we'd stumbled upon an ancient Ipswich tradition, but the mayor immediately extended the hand of friendship by gifting us each with a grip ball set. You know, the fuzzy balls with the Velcro paddles. He was equally free with his opinions on the Kelly gang. Todd's question cut right to the heart of the matter. Were they freedom fighters or bank robbers? Folk legends or murderers? How do you see Ned Kelly? Is he here no, or is he a villain? No, he's here. I mean, he's buddy like a Robin Hood. Yeah. Hey, he's buddy yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. Don't, don't make him out to be a bad guy. Yeah. No, 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 no. He, he was. A, well, he, started, he, he was the Australian start. Robin Hood. It's it's the, the Victorian police still feel it's it's like a fresh wound to them. You yeah. Know? yeah. They still feel yeah. like it's a blight on their yeah. reputation because they because they didn't you know do it well and it's a sore it's a sore point. And they still they still refer to him as a cop killer. Yeah. That's it. End of story. That is their blanket line. He is not a hero. He's a He's cop killer. killer. We're all justify in our own mind while we do something against the law. No one likes to break the law, but people like to change the law. And when you can't change the law, you take other steps to try and convince people to change the law. And Ned Kelly is the, the Australian Robin Hood. Mm. Dan Kelly is here. We're here to look after him. Our community will look after Dan's remains for the rest of his life. If Paul Pizzali had been mayor in 1880, Ipswich would have been a safe haven for bush rangers. Um, our point of view is about investigating an interesting story and about, about unpicking this kind of national hero in a way, but looking at the kind of humanity between them as well. Yeah. And it, it, it doesn't. It, it, leaves the, it, it asks questions of both of them, but it actually does paint them both in a little bit. Everyone will have a, a right and a wrong way to, for Ned Kelly to be and for Dan to be. And 
they, they imagine them acting in a certain way and whether that's influenced by you know the films or the books or whatever but or the heroes the myth- mythology of him it will be interesting to sort of I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people who say, I just hated it because that's not how Ned would have been. It's like, how do you know? (laughs) How would you know? Did we come back believing that body under the sod in Ipswich General Cemetery is really Dan? Well, no. We're far too cynical for that. But we did learn two things. One, grip ball is actually pretty fun. And even more so when it's given to you free of charge by an elected official. And two, even 132 years after their supposed deaths, the Kelly boys still have a healthy rivalry going. They're actually good, you can throw them and they actually stick.